welcome to the Veggie Kitchen. I'm your host Ed. We're coming to you from Orange County, California. Today I'm cooking up a Vegistroni soup. Stay tuned, VeggieKitchen.org. Today I am making up a vegestroni soup. This is a mixed vegetable soup that tastes delicious with any combination of seasonal vegetables. For the base of the soup we're using onions, carrots and celery. In French cooking these are referred to as mirepoix. And these three vegetables are the base for so many soups and stews. In the pot already I have the, the garlic and my herbs. I'm using sage, marjoram and rosemary. And they're in the olive oil and I can hear them now. They're browning up. And I'm going to add my veggies. So this is the mirepoix. The other vegetables I'm using, I have some leeks, some string beans, and some cauliflower. Basically, you know, I go to the farmer's market, whatever looks good, that's what I'm buying. So I'm going to put all these veggies in the pot. I'm going to let them saute up for about 10 minutes. Just let them cook up for about 10 minutes and then I'll be adding my other vegetables. Actually, my other ingredients. I have uh, about 28 ounces here of some diced uh, tomato. I have some cannellini beans. And once it all gets going, I'm going to be adding a little bit of orzo. Orzo is a pasta. Okay, so... Basically, I'll let this cook, as I said, uh, maybe 10 minutes or so. We'll be back to check on it and we'll put the rest of it together, okay? VeggieKitchen.org Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. The vegetables have been sautéing. Yeah, look at that. Can you see this? Look at that. They're cooked down nicely. When I started, I had cut my onion and my celery and the carrots into small bits, little bits, so that they would cook faster. I know they're getting where I want them because when I press on them, when I press on them with the spoon, they have a little bit of give. So now I'm ready to add the other ingredients. I'm adding my diced tomato. This was canned, by the way, and that's okay. I'm adding the cannellinis. This was one can, one 15 ounce can of the beans. I just rinsed and drained them. And I am going to add about four cups of water. This is what I'm starting at. If I need to add any more water at the end, then I'll just do that. And then the orzo. As I said, the orzo is a pasta. You can use any type of pasta, any kind of little pasta. This is like a, it's shaped like rice. Or you could use these little, uh, this is a didolini. These are just little tubes. Heck, if you have spaghetti, you can just get spaghetti and break it into small bits. Okay, I'm going to bring the heat up. Bring it back to a boil. And then I'll lower the heat and let it simmer. <laughs> making soup is so fun. I know you can go to the store and you can buy soup. I know that. But making your own soup is so much fun. And you can control what you put in the soup. Low sodium, you can just put a bit of salt or no salt. You can, there's no additives. You're putting in there what you want. You're getting the nutrition you need for your body. Very simple and fun to do. And soup always tastes better the next day. So make a double batch of the soup. Eat some one day. The next day tastes good. Heck, take a thermos to work. It's going to be fall soon. Or it is fall soon. It's going to be winter. And soup's always so good. They make a great lunch. And they're a great uh, start to your dinner. Okay, we're going to let it... Come up, as I said, I'll let it boil up, then I'll lower it, let it simmer, and then we'll come back and check on it, okay? VeggieKitchen.org I just checked, and the soup looks done. Yeah. Hot. Look at this, so pretty. You've got the orange from the carrot. We've got the string bean. We've got the protein from the cannellini bean. It's a great hearty vegetable soup. Hot. One of the rewards.
rewards of cooking is you get to eat. And that's what we're going to do right now. The crew and I are going to sit down. We're going to set the table. We're going to pour some bowls of soup. We've got a loaf of sourdough bread to go with it. We're going to sit down and have a nice meal. And I hope you'll try the recipe and do the same. We'll see you next time here at VeggieKitchen.org.